welcome everyone who has already joined us. And um, my name is Georgi. So I will be a co-moderator, co-host to, of today's session uh, today, together with Eileen from my German university who will be helping me to answer all of your questions, general questions that you may have about studying in Germany. But as you may remember, as you may know, today's topic is quite specific. We will talk about international business and not me and Eileen, but it's even better that those people <laughs> who teach and who are in close communication contact with this um, this topic and even more, they have the programs uh, related to this uh, on this topic, they will um, talk to you directly, which is a great opportunity for you to get firsthand information, I would say, uh, from the most reliable and most competent people, I would say. And, and as you can see, um, the choice is really huge. I mean, uh, we have lots of guests, lots of interesting, interesting guests, and I'm sure you will have lots of questions and uh, we are waiting for many questions from your side, guys. So I will, I'm sure you will enjoy and uh, I don't want to take more of your time. So I will jump directly into the presentation so that everyone has enough time to present their wonderful programs. Just, I will really shortly share with you my screen and to, present to you the first speaker that we will have today, the first program that will be presented today. So I hope that you can see uh, our screen already. So yeah, the first special guest uh, for you guys today is um, from Osnabrück University of Applied Sciences. The program that will be presented is MA International Business and Management and our guest is Ms. Kita lestare Kötting. And I would like to invite her already to jump in to take the floor and then uh, yeah, and for as for the attendees, we are already um, prepared to get your questions in the Q and A section, which you can see in the below part, the bottom part of the Zoom interface. So yeah, enjoy, and I'm going behind the scenes. Thank you very much, Georgi, and also Eileen for having me here. So my name is Gita Lestari Cutting, so you can call me Gita. Um, I'm coordinator of the Master International Business and Management at the Osnabrück University of Applied Sciences yeah, in Osnabrück. So I will share my screen. So actually, um, my colleague, my other colleague, Monica Wessel, will join us, but I think she has a problem with uh, Zoom. You can, of course, ask questions in the chat rooms, and I will um, answer your question after my presentation. So the study program we have at our university called International Business and Management, um, I'd like to uh, shortly give you an overview, so I will introduce a bit about our university, Hochschule Osnabrück, as well as the faculty business management and social sciences. And of course, our study program, international business and management, we call it master IBM. And um, which possibilities you have when you are studying with us. And um, of course, the important thing, the application, as well as the admission requirements, if you want to join us. Um, so a bit facts and figures. Um, the University is located in Osnabrück. It is a small city in the northern part of Germany. So you can see here um, Osnabrück is um, yeah at the northern northern part of Germany. It's close to Bremen, to um, Hamburg, to um, another city is um, Köln, and um, so this is a home of about fifteen thousand students. Um, at four faculties um, and one institute of music. So you can see here we have uh, four campuses um, in Osnabrück. So the faculty of engineering and computer sciences, we have faculty of agricultural sciences and landscape architecture. Um, we have uh, the business management um, and social sciences and Institute of Music, so those are located in Osnabrück, and we have also one faculty in Lingen. It's a small city about 70 kilometers away from, from here. Um, so the university offers around 100 degree programs, and um, at our faculty, we have two uh, programs at bachelor and master level, uh, which are fully taught in English. So I highlighted here the Capriffic campus where our faculty um, belongs to. 
So this is the largest faculty at our school. Uh, as I mentioned before, we have two uh, international study programs, the international management at the bachelor level and the master IBM at the master. And um, yeah, so the, the most students are studying on this campus and um, we have around 40 bachelor and master degrees program. So as, as you can see here, um, some impression of our campus. So we have uh, the combination of old and uh, modern buildings, which make our campus special. So other pictures. Um, you can see we have another campus close by. This is called uh, Westerbeck campus. So this is um, our Mensa. So this is student restaurant. We have also cafeteria, so students can go there and um, can buy some food meals uh, for a good price. And it's quite delicious. And uh, we have also another building. This is quite modern and also quite young. I mean, uh, it's built, I don't know, for five years ago and you can go there to work in a groups or you can also have um, lectures um, in, this, in this building. We have also a library close by, so which is used uh, by students from University of Osnabrück. Yes, so uh, now I would like to introduce our master program so with um, key facts. So you will earn a Master of Arts after you completed um, the Master Study International Business and Management. And this is a full-time study program. So you will earn 120 ECTS points. And this is also consecutive master program. So the duration is um, about two years. So if you study all the modules um, yeah, in the regular study um, and as I said before, this is uh, fully taught in English, but um, if you have enough German language skill or proficiency, you can also choose some electives in German language. We accept um, 27 students per year and the program start in September means that um, students or applicants can only apply once uh, a year. So the application will open um, next year in February 1st until April 15th, so for non-EU citizen. Uh, remember here, if you are a non-EU citizen, but um, for example, study in Italy or in France, so uh, you should or you must apply um, in this time period. And for EU citizens, so you can start um, from my 1st to July 15. So this is the admission requirements in order to uh, be accepted by our program. So um, as I said before, this is a consecutive master program. So you have to complete a bachelor degree in business management, economics, or another related programs. Um, other requirements is the language requirements in English. So this is mandatory. You need to proof or submit a certificate, a minimum of uh, C1 level, and also German language proficiency at A1 level. So the semester fee is about 360, including the semester tickets. Uh, this is very, very nice because you can use the semester ticket to go uh, or to use the public transportation here in Osnabrück, we only have bus, but you can also use the train um, yeah, from Osnabrück to other city in Lower Saxony. And of course you can go to Hamburg, to Bremen, so um, which is very popular in our, uh, yeah, among, among the students. So um, yeah, Master International Business and Management, degree will provide you with an ideal foundation in order to pursue an international career. So you have acquired already maybe or currently studying the most important basic economics or business management knowledge in your bachelor business studies. Uh, with this master program, you will deepen your previous knowledge of the general business administration. The international um, orientation of the program 
allows you to sharpen your profile through our international curriculum, of course, and also the diverse specialization and practice related content. So um, just preparing your optimally for specialist and management tasks in international companies or um, international organization. Um, the group consists of international students. So the around half of master IBM students from, come from abroad, uh, which gives our lectures and seminars a certain international flair. Engaging and exchanging ideas with international students will give you a detailed understanding of different culture. And of course, it offers you the opportunity to explore approaches, um, mindsets from other culture. So through this international focus, as well as the combination of the group, um, our program aimed to promote the intercultural competencies. Uh, but I can show you later. So our curriculum, how it looks like, and as well as the specialization we offer. Um, and yeah, here, so you can see, you can also uh, choose one specialization with two electives according to your personal interest and career objective. So we have three specialization um, markets and processes. We have human resources and change and other specialization international management, which is um, always chosen by our international students who only speak English. And our program is also accredited. So this is the curriculum of our program. Um, so as you can see here, so it's shaped in or in, is designed in three uh, categories, the general competences, the key competencies, as well as the specialization. So um, you can see uh, in, in each modules, the focus of, of the modules is international. Um, and in the specialization, you can see here, you choose one specialization and choose, and after that, choose two electives. So we have several, um, yeah, several specialization. And two of them are completely in English, the consulting and innovation and transformation. Yeah, unfortunately, other modules um, in other specialization are taught in German language. But um, yeah, if you are confident and if you have the proficiency already, you can, of course, choose uh, those module in those um, specialization. So um, I will not go into details to each modules. If you want, you can see the description of the, of the modules on our website. And if you have, of course, questions and need advice, um, you can always contact us as me and also um, Monica. Monica is also here. Welcome. So this is the, the overview of our specialization. Um, as you can see here, I mentioned before, the international management is um, fully in English language and uh, our internationals take those module. So do not worry if you cannot speak German, you can still um, yeah, apply and study our program. So this is how it looks like. So you'll choose the specialization and then you will deepen a uh, two electives in innovation and transformation and also consulting, for example. Yeah, during your study with us, you have the possibility to go abroad. Um, studying at our program is international experience because internationality is not only taught, but also lived. So this is why our students have possibility to go abroad for a study semester or even a dual degree. So um, this is not an integral part of our program. So this is not mandatory, but you can go abroad. Um, usually our students go in the third semester to one of our partner university. And um, yeah, they spend one semester there. So you don't, you don't worry, um, you don't have to worry that through the study abroad that your um, study study will be prolonged. So it's not the case because 
the modules or the credits you earn abroad will be recognized uh, for the modules in the semester um, in our curriculum. Of course, before you go abroad, we will uh, review um, the modules you want to take um, abroad, but actually it is answered. If you go to one of our partner university, um, the modules there will be, will be recognized um, yeah, as a mandatory module at our, at our program. So we have several partner university um, in yeah, different countries. You can stay, for example, in Europe. Um, you can also go uh, to overseas. So there are several options you can take. And yeah, alternatively, you can also uh, do a double degree program. So it means that you will uh, study at our program at our university um, two semesters, and then you go abroad to our uh, to one of our partner university um, for two semester, followed by master thesis either uh, abroad or in Osnabrück. So these are the cooperation we have. Um, we have two partner university um, with double degree with double degree agreement in France. One is Université Paris Crete and uh, AM Normandy. And we have also two in Asia. One is in South Korea. So we have Kyung University and we have one in Indonesia, uh, Universitas Gajah Mada. Um, if you wish you want to stay less than one semester or one year, you can of course join the uh, summer school or excursion. So there are also um, some offer from our partner university, um, yeah, which you can take part in. And this is the extracurricular activities we have, we offer for our students. Um, so we have several activities in winter semester, we have also in summer. So we believe that this joint activities outside classroom will help you develop a wide network of international contacts and friendship, as well as enhance your professional skill in certain topics. For example, you can join the Scrum workshop or the negotiation skill workshop. So now we come to the admission and application part. In order to qualify um, um, for the master IBM, you must fulfill academic and also linguistic requirements. So the main requirements for admission to our program are um, you have to complete it, um, your bachelor degree. So at least you needed to earn 180 ECTS points or more. And um, so as I mentioned before, so you also need to complete it, your study in business studies, management or economics. Um, um, if you are not sure, so whether or not you are eligible to apply for our program, you can always contact us and then we will be happy to review and to check your documents and then you can decide. So the language requirements um, are also needed, one in English and one in German. So this, those are the, or these are the list um, of the official certificates you can, you can submit when applying for our program. So, and uh, you can see here, some of you might have studied or are currently studying um, your bachelor program in English. So it means that you do not need to submit any other um, official certificates. It's um, also sufficient if your home university um, yeah, give us like a certificate or document stating that your, your bachelor program is fully taught in English language. So to sum up, so what to do, um, you need to apply for this program online. Um, for the non-EU applicants until April 15, starting from February 1st. And for the EU applicants, as well as German, so you can start 
to to apply from May 1st until July 15th. And um, after that, we will review all the application, check the documents, and uh, the committee will meet in May for, yeah, for, for reviewing all the application. And then we will send either admission or rejection letter to you around May around May for non-EU applicants and in July or August for EU citizens. So um, you need to check whether or not you need a visa, a student visa for studying here. That's why the application period for non-EU citizen is um, earlier than for EU citizen. So this is just for your information. We have around 300 application uh, we had yeah we had it uh, last last not this year so around 300 application um, but we could just take 27 students but uh, don't be scared so I would still recommend you and be confident to apply for our program and we are very happy if we um, yeah get a lot of application so this is the required documents. Um, you need to submit um, online. Um, yeah, the cover letter it shouldn't be longer than one page. The CV, of course, in English, and a picture of you, and the certificates of your bachelor degree, and the final transcript. So, if you haven't completed your bachelor program by the time you apply for our program, you can also um, send the preliminary transcript containing at least 80% of the earned credits from your study. And of course, the language certificates and other certificates or documents which are, yeah, which are required for our assessment. So last but not least, um, I saw you a bit about our city. So a city of Osnabrück, so this is quite a small city with 160,000 inhabitants. The city is very beautiful with historical buildings and um, the cost of living um, in Osnabrück is, I would say, um, less than in a big cities like Berlin or Munich or Hamburg. So, um, but still you can have a lot of um, cultural activities. Um, there are plenty of bars, um, restaurants. So um, I think you will not be bored if you are living here. And um, we have also, um, or, or the, the transportation links um, in Osnabrück is very good. So you can reach other cities very easy by trains or the fast trains. Um, yeah, so there are many reasons to come to Osnabrück and study um, at our program, Master International Business and Management. Yeah, so this is us. Uh, Professor Mayer is the program director. She, uh, he, he, uh, he's not able to join us today because he has another lecture. And this is me, so you can always contact us, uh, better me first to, yeah, if you have any question to application, to admission, or um, about the study in general. And um, yeah, you can visit us on our website. So the information we have is pretty detailed. And um, you can also follow, of course, the social media of the Hostel Osnabrück. Yes, so um, we are, Monica and I, and Professor Maya as well, looking forward to your application, to your emails, and I hope um, to see you in Osnabrück. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Kita, for this wonderful presentation. It was, was quite detailed and quite interesting, as you could see also now in the Q&A section that you got lots of questions and Monica oh. has asked them quite actively. So Perfect. it was definitely <laughs> interesting. Thank you very much. Thank you. And I, yeah, I'm sure that many of those students who are today, will you will see them applying for the program. Uh, OK, so uh, let's move then forward so that we have enough time for everyone. Um, let me again quickly share with you the screen, dear attendees, and invite 
now introduce the second special guest for today. So we have Professor Dr. Alexander Kumpf from Landshut University of Applied Sciences, and he is a course director of MA International Business Administration, and he will now talk about it uh, uh, in a minute. So, and you can see now we moved to the south of Germany quite a lot, and let's see what's going on there. <laughs> so Professor Kumpf, the floor is yours. Perfect. Thank you very much, Gorgi. Thank you very much uh, for this invitation and uh, having given me the chance to introduce also our master in international business uh, from the south part of Germany, close to Munich. My name is Alexander Kumpf, and I'm, as been introduced already, the course leader and as well a lecturer in the master in international business. And um, yeah, so I hope you can see my screen uh, as it has been already taught. Um, we are now moving. Um, southwards of Germany, we are actually close to, to Munich, about 100 kilometers northeast of uh, Munich with a nice city in a smaller town with about 75,000 inhabitants in the very old ancient city of Landshut. Um, actually, um, the airport is very close to us, so if you're coming from abroad, all over the world, uh, there is a quite easy access to, to, to Landshut itself. Um, by flying in, into the Munich airport and uh, there is a frequent train and as well bus riding to, to the Lancet city. And uh, most of our students are living in Lancet, but some of them even are still also living and joining the big city of Munich. Um, actually, our university, to give a short introduction on, on this side, uh, on Lancet, um, and before we go into the program itself, um, we are a relatively small university. Here is a small picture of our campus. Uh, we are located only on one place um, with everything uh, concentrated. Uh, currently, we have um, in, in construction actually a new Mensa building. So, for the meal, if you will be able to join us, um, you will be the first students uh, joining to this new canteen uh, as this will be uh, opened from February next year on. And beside of that, we have a very nice library in the center of our campus, which is open 24 hours, seven days, except of course, during the coronavirus pandemic situation, we have some uh, excluding time, but in general, um, 24 seven open. So students have any time, the chance to, to join and go to the library. Um, the dormitories and the living areas are very close to our campus, so opposite of the main road. Uh, we have uh, also for international students and local students, um, students uh, dormitories, uh, which is um, um, quite easy to access and, um, and, and, and good working. And everything is very close here, uh, the lecture rooms, the libraries, um, so it's a very compact and nice place. To our university, we have uh, six different departments. Uh, I'm personally from the business administration, uh, where the, this master international business is also located. But beside of that, we have technical, uh, social, and interdisciplinary study um, departments, where in total, we have um, about 47 courses in bachelor and in master degrees level, um, about 120 professors and other staffs. And currently, we have uh, about a little less than 5,000 students, so 4,700 students in total. Um, students exist here. Just an overview about the different master programs. And again, uh, currently, we have in business administration four different master study programs running. One of them is in international business, completely taught in English. And um, of course, we also have a bachelor in international business which is partly also taught in English and um, focusing on international activities. Um, today, I would like to introduce the Mass International Business, which is uh, mainly a very flexible uh, study program. Um, it is a uh, Master of Arts in International Business, full-time oriented three semester with 90 CPS program. Um, so you can also uh, see already that there is an entrance requirement of 210 ECTS. Um, um, requirements, but anyhow, it's a three semester 90 CTS program. Um, and it's flexible in terms of the content, as the second semester is completely free. Um, we have, we are expecting that students are going abroad for the second semester or um, participating in one of our 
here in the existing virtual um, uh, lectures system. Um, so you can stay either here in Germany and Lanzo and take virtual uh, online classes or um, go abroad to one of our partner universities. Some of them are even offering as well double degrees. So it's absolutely up to you. So flexible in content in terms of that the second semester can be decided out of a very of different topics uh, which you want to look at and, and focus. Second, there is flexibility in location. You can stay here in Lancet or you can go worldwide in one of our universities, partner universities, and it's also flexible in timing. Um, some of my students have already finished this program with uh, three semesters within 13 months. Some of them are extending them a little bit more um, as uh, some of my the students are also uh, doing a voluntary internship, um, which is probably um, a strong area here in, in great area of Munich, where we have a lot of international companies located, um, where students also international students finding good proper position for internship and then later on for master and then a permanent uh, working condition. Um, there is an option possibility that uh, you can get a double degree. So uh, from our side, a Master of Arts in International Business and uh, from our partner universities, Master of Science in International Business or in different specialization area. Looking on the contents, um, the first semester, which usually starts on the 15th of March. So it's a starting program for the summer term um, all the time, 15th of March goes until um, by the middle of July, end of July, uh, where we have the exams and uh, the, the final courses, uh, we are focusing on two main areas on business functions, uh, like uh, operations management, accounting and financial management, so that you can get on base of your bachelor knowledge or working experiences, more specific and detailed um, knowledge on the core business uh, functions and then general view on management uh, perspectives um, like the international business environment and strategy so you can get also a better um, ideas about the total uh, circumstances where the businesses are operating um, as well business ethics and CSR in digital businesses um, and agile hybrid project management in the international environment as most of our um, alumni are working as project managers or directly in functions in, in different business fields. So uh, we included as well the project management topic. So these are the six courses which you have to take in the first semester. This has been already given. All of these six courses are being taught in English and uh, in some areas we are including also um, lectures from our international partners. So we have also lectures from UK and uh, other countries involved in these courses. Typically, these courses are being offered um, over the semester um, every week. In some cases, we are also blocking the seminars and um, so we can uh, have uh, the possibility to make a block uh, weekly intensive working on some specific subjects. Um, within one of my classes, which I'm um, personally also offering is the global operations management. Uh, we are also giving this lecture part of it uh, as a special activity uh, in the uh, nice Bavarian mountains. So we are moving for a couple of days into the mountains, staying there and uh, changing our perspectives uh, from the upper level, looking on the, uh, I would say, downhill to, to, to the cities. And um, with the changing of the perspective, um, also focusing how to lead operations, international operations, and um, make a special out, mm, outdoor um, activities and um, getting also uh, to know about how to lead in difficult surroundings. Um, this is also one of the important things beside of the content um, that uh, for us it's a very important that uh, there is a high networking between the students and between the lecturers. And therefore, also, this is a good opportunity to you to come together, to join together, and um, to uh, get a network together. The second semester, as I mentioned, is quite open. We are not offering any of those courses here in Lanzo at the moment, um, but you can um, 
take a, uh, lectures from one of our partner universities. Again, you can move to one of our partners or you can stay in Lancelot and take the online courses, which has been also offered. Um, the business area or the fields are very uh, open. So where you, what kind of uh, courses you have to take, it's just in the competence fields in international management, special functions in the business administration area, and then completely open in disciplinary and social competence fields. So you can choose your own speci specialization and choose your own courses out of the big range of different topics. The last semester is mainly reserved for the master thesis. Um, typically, we are uh, here in Germany, we are writing the master thesis between three months and six months. Depends on whether you're going on a double degree or uh, only a degree from our side. And you may have two um, supervisors or one from, from our university. And this goes, of course, with the preparation on business research methods. So we are prepared for writing the master thesis and in in middle or in the, in the, during your writing your master thesis, you have to participate in a colloquium where you have to explain what are your hypotheses and what is the uh, pro, uh, procedure to build up your um, thesis topic itself. Um, some contents, I, I think I will not go into the details about these, uh, all the lectures. You can have a look if you want in, uh, on our webpage. Uh, um, but nevertheless, uh, maybe looking on our partner universities uh, where we are sending frequently our students abroad. Currently, we are a lot of students in, in Christianstadt, which is one of our Erasmus partners and the double degree uh, agreement. So um, Christianstadt in Sweden um, sending their students and students uh, have to stay there for one year. So uh, one semester with us, uh, six months and then moving to, to Christianstadt, two additional semesters, and uh, within these three month, three semesters, one and a half year, you can get also a double degree, one from our side and one from uh, the Sweden partner. Beside of that, we have um, here in Baltic Republics, in Poland, Turkey, uh, other Erasmus partners where you can spend one semester. Um, uh, we are frequently sending also students to Sweden, uh, to, to Spain. Um, currently, we have uh, two students there. Um, and uh, six in Sweden, and a uh, couple of them, and uh, I think four in, in Edinburgh, uh, Edinburgh and Cambridge and uh, Dublin. These are three English speaking partners uh, where you also can get a double degree. Um, unfortunately, they are not Erasmus partners, but um, uh, these are universities where you can um, yeah, skip the first semester and automatically go to the second one and stay there for one additional year, two semester, and then get a double degree also from these partner universities. Um, beside of these mentioned Erasmus partners, we have quite others. Currently, we are creating new ones, uh, partnerships with Italy and uh, in, in France as well. Um, so uh, as uh, these pictures increasing uh, the partnerships, um, uh, as long as we have the partnerships already established, we are also able to uh, get the funds on Erasmus. So everyone who is uh, taking uh, this Erasmus partnership, then you are also able to uh, get the funds for um, with these um, partners. Um, worldwide, we have uh, working. We are also working in Australia, in Russia, and in uh, North America with some of our partner universities. Um, maybe Russia is a little bit special as one of our lectures is frequently there, and uh, he is also uh, inviting one of their lectures from Russia to us coming here. So there is a frequent exchange uh, on lectures and um, they are also involved in our study programs. Again, as I mentioned, there is more flexibility in the timing, usually um, 13 uh, or three semester, it's about one and a half year. But as uh, in some international uh, universities, the starting time is different than in Germany. You're even able to finish everything within 13 months uh, or some as i mentioned some of the students decide to go to uh, to do a voluntary internship um, and uh, making um, um, a break during the studies uh, usually after the second semester before starting with the master thesis and then um, work for six months at the company continue to do the master thesis sometimes in the company and then 
the entrance into the working surrounding is then much easier in this case. Some of our students also decide to stay, um, to go to two uh, partners um, uh, in two, at two different semesters. So starting with us at the summer, in the winter term, first part university, and the second, the third one, um, at the third semester, and um, as you're able to get uh, supported from the Erasmus funds for one year, two semester, it's possible to uh, split this third, but the second semester in two semesters and stay two semesters abroad. Coming to the entrance requirements, um, as I mentioned, uh, uh, this is um, a, a 90 ECTS program, so um, you need an a bachelor degree with 210 ECTS uh, points in business related fields does not necessarily mean that um, you need to uh, have a business administration um, a bachelor degree. Uh, it could be also a joint, so like uh, in industrial engineering, so engineering with business, but we are looking at that um, you need to have at least uh, the core functional um, classes already taken in business. Uh, like the finance and the accounting topics as uh, our lectures are starting on or basing on these uh, knowledge and going further. Uh, for those students who have only 180 CTS, um, we would require working experience with about 900 working hours in the field of business administration and then we can count these working experience also to the 180 ECTS program. C1 level in English is required. Um, this, looking on the uh, ILTS score and TOEFL score, they could be a little bit different. So at least you have to reach those score levels um, and prove it uh, with your C1 level. If you have already a completely bachelor degree program uh, done in completely in English, we could also accept that um, you have already reached the C1 level. Um, language level. For the uh, non-German speaking uh, uh, students, um, you have to prove German language skill uh, on A2 level by the end of the second semester. So you can come here to us to Landshut without having in any German language skills. Uh, we are introducing you and including you in our language school. We are offering from, I would say, from A0 um, up to, the, um, of course, for extended levels as well as until C1 level. Um, a German courses, so you can come to us and while you're staying with us, you can reach then the A2 level um, and by the end of the second semester, it's required that you have proven already your A2 level in German. But again, for the starting, it's nothing necessary. You can have working experience or not, depends on your bachelor degree. Um, it's not uh, required, but of course, um, it would be good if you have already uh, work experience. Looking on the documents, I think it's, uh, it's similar to every all of the universities, but anyhow, we need a pre-checking certificate from UNASYS uh, with a so-called VPD document, uh, which proves that your uh, bachelor or master degree is equivalent to the German ones. Um, then with this document, which not necessarily needs to be um, specified for our university, we can also take one of the um, uh, other Bavarian universities, but anyhow, uh, with this information, you can also do upload uh, all other uh, required documents like the CV, the language certificate, and um, apply online on our system. My last slide, I just want to show you again the internet page. There you will find more detailed information on uh, the study program. If you have any further questions, I'm um, and my, and my colleagues are well willing to answer you, of course. And um, yeah, I will just finish now. And um, thank you very much for your attention. And uh, hope um, you joined this uh, meeting and um, looking forward to see your application. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Professor. That was uh, for this uh, detailed uh, information. And uh, yeah, I think um, as well, uh, as you can see from the Q&A also, it was quite active during your presentation. So if you would like, you can al already answer some questions in the Q&A, you can see. But yeah, towards the end, I will also compile some interesting questions. Thank you very much.
Now let's jump into our third program. And uh, you can see we are staying in the South. We are in Regensburg and we have Professor Dr. Nina Leffers who will present uh, the program of MA European Business Administration. And she's the head of this program. So it's the best person again to address your questions. So uh, Professor Leffers, the floor is yours. Thanks a lot for the nice introduction. Thanks a lot for that great opportunity to um, uh, introduce our program today. So we do have a master's in European business. And I'll tell you in a second why we think Europe it is, um, not international, but European business. Um, so people keep telling us, and you can see that on the next slide, that students are just coming to our place because the city is so beautiful. We do not like it when, when we are told that they are just coming for the beauty of the city, but we do understand it. And um, I have to start with this. Sorry for my colleagues from Osnabrück and Regensburg. I do have to start with this because really this is a huge asset that we have. Um, as you can see here on this picture, um, just just part of the beautiful old town while well, looking at the uh, at the river, um, we do also have quite an quite a attractive economy. We have a lot of major German industries uh, located in Regensburg, such as BMW, Infineon, Siemens, you name it. And what what I really like and what I think a lot of students will appreciate the fact that we have a population of 165 people and thereof um, almost the fifth 33,000 are students. So really this is student life at its best. Maybe we can jump to the next page. Um, I don't want to tell you too much about um, the OTH and the business faculty, so let's just give you, let's just give me a couple of important facts. We are quite a traditional school. The OTH goes back into the 19th century. And what is interesting and I think appreciated by our students is the fact that we have a rather broad um, curriculum here. We have a lot of different faculties and techniques, architecture, business, and so on. Of course, we are very, very active in a network of international academic partners and 11,000 students, um, 57 degree programs are located in Regensburg. Thereof, at the business faculty, there's 2,000 students and 34 professors. What I'm very proud to mention is that we were ranked um, the best business administration faculty at Bavarian universities that really was a great success for us and um, yeah that was part of the um, of the CHE university ranking um, when we move on um, you you see that the campus you see uh, you see a, a picture of the campus maybe Jenny you can show where your office is yes this is um, on the left hand side, this is where we are, the business faculty, and uh, in between you see the, the cafeteria, the lake, so we do really have what is probably called campus life, um, with a lot of people, live, not living, but a lot of people spending their time on campus, which has really evolved um, to a very, very nice location in the last couple of years. So, but that was just the introduction. We are not here to talk about the beauty of Regensburg and how proud we are on our fancy campus. I'd like to tell you a bit about the master's program. I will also, I know we are running a bit short of time. I will also deal with the program and the content, which content will you deal with during your studies. I think it's also important to take a look at the graduates of a study program, where do our graduates work, what happened to them, and then last but not least, um, we talk about deadlines and the application procedures. So um, people, even within the faculty, keep asking the question, why is that program called European management? Why don't we just focus on international management or global management? Well, we think that um, 
that that Europe is is more important than ever, and we think it's important to to focus on the European Union as a great institution, especially when we look at important trade partners such as the U.S. and China. I think it's definitely worth um, emphasizing European strengths. And I do have a subject called um, European Management Perspectives. And I must say I was very inspired because I invited members of the European Parliament from different parties. And it's extremely important, it's extremely interesting to hear how policy is made on a European level and what the impact is for for us, of course, as citizens, but of course, and this is the focus of the program, for the businesses within Europe. So that's my answer. Europe is important. Even more important than economic success is the fact that it, it really brought us peace and prosperity in the last years. Um, what is the goal of the master. Well, what do what we do have in mind with the master program really is a generalist and in international management. We assume that you, when you decide to 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 apply for the program, when you graduate within our program, we assume that you will work maybe at the customer facing side of things we will assume that you might take a role in international sales international supply chain management or any function related to international management um, we think however it's important to not only have that generalist view but to also give you the opportunity to focus on an elective modules. Therefore, we do offer four modules, marketing, finance, HR, and logistics, four elective modules. So on the one hand side, we think you, you have, you can be very confident of acquiring a generalist's profile in international management. But in addition to that, you'll have enough time to deal with um, well, what, where your heart is, marketing or finance, HR or logistics. And of course, we strongly recommend once you've chosen one of those electives to also focus on this elective in your master's thesis. Uh, we've gone through a couple of um, study reforms in, in the last couple of years. And by now, I think we really do offer very innovative teaching forms. We do have a free stimulation game where students were, were confronted with um, the Brexit and the situation that they had to sell olive oil from Spain and Greece to the UK. So we try to do that as very interactive games. We do a lot of project work. In the past, um, we were consulting companies here that, well, that is a bit tried out during Corona times, but we will probably get, that, get back to that project work. I myself have a background in consulting and I do like to, well, I talk too much about consulting all the time, but this is of course also part of the project work. And also we do have a negotiation class as part of the sales program that is quite interactive. I think what is important to mention is that the master is completely taught in English language. And that, as you can imagine, enables us to have a, have a large number of foreign applicants in the program. So being a teacher, it it feels stupid, to be quite frank. Being a teacher, it feels stupid to speak English to a group of 20 German students. So I really, really appreciate the international tight-knit crowd that we have in the program. So of course, we have a lot of European students with Spanish students, students from the Netherlands, um, French students, but we also have students from overseas. Um, some Japanese students successfully completed the program. So we, we really have, and I, I really appreciate the variety that comes from that diverse group, group of people. Um, yeah, we really have a broad range of different backgrounds. Um, and of course, we also adjusted, and I think all of the schools did that, we all, of course, adjusted the, the, the program to the current developments. We've introduced a digital analytics course. We've introduced a digital applications course that is dealing with business 
models. I think this is the most important overview to understand the key ideas that we do have with the program. Nevertheless, on the next slide, um, I'd like to tell you in a bit more detail what the contents are that you will be dealing with during your studies. I, I don't want to take this too long. Of course, this can all be found on our website. But first of all, to give you an overview, Master EB at a glance, we do offer a one and a half year full-time program. Um, that means 90 ECTS. In the past, we've only started in winter, but we've introduced a new start in summer. So you can start in summer or in, uh, you can start in the summer or in the winter. Um, Jenny, are you still there? Yes, sorry, um, there was a mistake in my screen sharing. I'll be um, starting it anew. Really sorry for the uh, inconvenience now. <laughs> It's just going to take one second. There was um, just a message that my screen sharing wasn't working and I was trying to work it out, but it apparently didn't work itself out the way it should. Um, just give me one second. No worries. That's, that's not a good opportunity to introduce Jenny Bingold, our program manager. <laughs> okay. So... Here we go again, hopefully. By the way, we got a comment that one person is really excited about this master. So <laughs> before you turn on <laughs> the presentation. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, so here we go again. Really sorry, but um, yeah, I'm also really excited that nevertheless, everyone is uh, staying with us. I'm just um, switching to the correct um, Content Hi, Jenny. And now we are hopefully good to go. Well, Jenny, I should know everything by heart and not read the slides all together, <laughs> right? So, um, okay, um, we are back on track. Back to, the, so I'm back to page eight, please, Jenny. <laughs> Excellent. So, as we said, it's a one and a half full time, one and a half year full time program, 90 ECTS. And those 90 ECTS, are, uh, they consist of three different parts. First of all, the core curriculum, the basic, what we call the generalist program, 50 ECTS are in that core curriculum. Then we have the optional curriculum. This is where you can specialize on, on one of the electives. And then of course, finally, we have the master's thesis. Um, you will, and I think that goes without saying, you'll acquire a master's of arts. Um, we are, however, we are quite picky when it comes to admission criteria. What we do acquire is what we do require is a full, um, a full bachelor, fully completed bachelor in business administration, or a related field. So this could be something like tourism management or intercultural management. We do accept um, applicants with those backgrounds. But typically, our, our applicants, they do have some sort of background in business administration. And that program, your undergrad program should have um, 210 or at least 180 ECTS, which translates in a three to three and a half year bachelor's program. Um, and I think that's not different from, from what the other universities were telling you. We we expect you to, to have a final grade of good or better. In addition to that, we really want to have people on board who can share something. We really want to have people on board that have international experience as well as practical experience and sufficient knowledge of English. We do not require a formal test, formal English or German test, How, however, um, Based on your CV, uh, we, we do place a focus on international experience and, and typically English language skills. We do test the English language skills in a written aptitude test. So this is also part of the admission procedure, but I get to the admission later on. Yes, and as I said before, international community, 
We really have an international close-knit community here. We do have an alumni group. We do have uh, we do have a student associations that is also related to our bachelor's programs, bachelor of European management, and every student with a very good comment of English is welcome in Regensburg. As I said, that all lectures are held in English. The only exception, exception to that rule would be the electives. So when once you're choosing marketing, then your whole program will be, will be in English language. If you decide to choose finance, HR, or logistics for the elective modules, these will take place in German language. So management and finance, management and logistics and HR, they're in Eng English language, management and marketing, that would be elective taken in English language. Maybe you can go one up again, Jenny. I'm a bit afraid we don't have the time to run into too much detail through all the modules we are offering, but I just briefly want to say some words to the modules being offered as core modules, European management perspectives. That's the, the one with the political touch. This is the subject where I've invited members of the European Parliament from different parties. And it's really interesting to share, uh, to, to, to discuss with them their perspective on Europe to get firsthand insights on how the, parliaments, uh, how the parliament is working. Then we have digital business analytics. We believe that the future is digital. And in addition to that, the future lies in the numbers. So, well, at least you get some. We are not a statistic program. We're not a math program. But you get some insights, let's say, very um, practical. This is a very practical course where you deal with business analytics. Then we have the digital applications course. Um, where we do work with business models, where we try to understand what could be ideas, what could be business ideas in the digital field. Since we do believe that the program gives you an excellent background to start a career in sales, we also have international sales in the curriculum combined with the negotiation part, um, of course, with a focus on B2B sales and international supply chain management. International supply chain management is conducted in collaboration with the Czech University at Nara Boleswa. Jenny, how was my pronunciation of the city? Not good, I guess. Okay. <laughs> and we do that. We do a practical project here together with uh, Skoda. And if there's not Corona, uh, I keep saying that if there's not Corona, we go to, we go to Skoda and with it, um, the, the Czech partner university. We have applied economics. It's, it's important. And even so, um, this is one of the harder nuts to crack in the program. We believe that it's a very important, very important piece of the curriculum. We do have an economics um, subject um, taught by my colleague, um, Professor Rudis, who's very, very passionate about European economics. Then I do teach a consulting project, typically a real life example. Again, if there was no Corona, we would do something with a, with a real company international strategy, international leadership skills, and innovation and entrepreneurship. Um, that would be the core modules. Then we have the electives. I already mentioned those. We want to give you a deeper expertise in one field of, of specialization. Um, we strongly encourage you to take the marketing elective because this is our proprietary, co co proprietary course. The other ones are shared modules with the finance, logistics, and HR master. And then if we go back to page nine, um, you supplement this with a master thesis, um, a master seminar, and the defense of your thesis. And I think that is that's really important that you pick the wrong topic here because um, that might be the entry card to what you will be doing afterwards. And if we move on, 
um, yeah, it's just a bit showing off. And in the consulting project, we once had an excursion to Shenzhen. We've also been to Tokyo. We've also been to Qingdao. We also visited uh, Greece. Um, so typically, project work really is a priority. We really like to go and do something with the students and I'm confident at some point of time, Corona will be over and we will be able doing that together. So um, very important, what do people actually do? What do the real life, the graduates of our study program, what do they do? Actually in preparation, and I, I, I wasn't really able to finish, but in preparation of today's presentation, I was, I was looking into what all the graduates are doing. And I must say, I got lost a bit in my LinkedIn profile because I, I was really proud um, of, of some of the students who had quite a good entry. So I just got a note from Lena uh, telling me, yeah, I got a promotion. Um, I'm now project manager sales and marketing. Um, we have Adria as a graduate from the 2015 who's working in the finance department of Osram. Of course, with, with the profile we are offering, we also have people working in consultants, such as Florian, who joined Porsche Consulting. We have people that specialize on marketing and go in the brand management direction. One of our recent graduates is, is Michael. I just got a note from him telling me that he's, he's very satisfied being part of the trainee management program from Allianz. And just to briefly mention that Michael was also one of the people who wrote their master's thesis in collaboration with Allianz, which was a bit of the entry card here. So I think I have to get to an end. And I just want to very briefly mention deadlines and application procedures. As I said before, you have to have a first degree in international business studies, at least good or better, 210 credits, not, it should be 210, not less than 180. Um, I think what is important to mention that, that we expect people to have studied abroad, outside Germany, and that we do expect students to have spent an internship in a non-German speaking country. Um, we know that these requirements are quite tough. There's just a low number of bachelor programs that uh, do feature 210 ECTS and both an international internship and a semester abroad. So in that situation where you only have 180 credits and either the internship or the study abroad, you can compensate for that. So. As, as, as soon as one of the requirements is fulfilled at the time of the application, the other one can be fulfilled during the master program, which will then extend the duration of the program by one semester. Well, in addition to that adequate proficiency in English, I think I, I can skip that. I think that's quite clear. Um, what has been mentioned before is the aptitude test. We really take the time to carefully se select our students and therefore we would like you to write an essay on a given topic that is dealing with international management, economics and marketing. So typically we uh, we do this in the form of a little case study and then you can write your essay um, in English languages. It's, yeah, it's not more than 2,500 words. I wouldn't say it's it's, it takes too much of your time. I think it comes in the form of a take home exam, but you know, it gives us a very good understanding on where you are, what your, what your process is, what your background is. Um, and this has really proven a very good um, indicator of, of study success. If you want to apply for the summer semester, um, the very important deadline that Jenny's already pointing out, the deadline for submitting your application is the 15th of January. And you can do that through our proprietary application platform. Um, and I guess we are sharing the links later on so you can um, can the link um, and the documents. Um, there you will then also find the um, 
the aptitude test or the, the aptitude test will then be published on our homepage on the 21st of January. And then you have 48 hours to finish and submit your essay. So first of all, you have to do the formal application. Once you've done that, we invite you to participate in the aptitude process. Um, and yeah, at, at, we give you first um, feedback from the master commission will be received early in February. We do understand, and that's I think that's that's the, the the obvious. We do understand that you apply for multiple programs, and we try to give you as soon as possible a first back, first feedback on whether we will expect accept you. Okay, Jenny, have I forgotten something? No, not really. So hopefully, I you share our enthusiasm for the program. Any questions are welcome, just, just drop them in the chat. Thanks everyone for the attention. Thank you so much, Professor Dr. Leffers, for this wonderful presentation, which was quite detailed, quite comprehensive, lots of information and- um, Long, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, it was really interesting. So this is the most important thing. And thanks also for Jenny, who was uh, in parallel answering all the questions in the Q&A. And I will definitely visit Radekeg's work because uh you you showed it i mean <laughs> such beautiful pictures so <laughs> i have to i have to visit it. okay so thank you very much once again and let's move forward so that we have time for um enough time for other programs to be presented as well and now let me introduce to you our special guest number four professor dr thomas lauer from Aschaffenburg university of applied sciences and he will talk about he'll present the ma uh, program in international management, and he himself is a head of this degree program. Again, we are not going very far from the <laughs> from the southern part of Germany. We are more or less staying there. So, um, Professor uh, uh, Professor Dr. Lauer, the floor is yours. I will stop sharing the screen right now. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much for that friendly introduction, and I would like to um, share my slides now, and I hope you can see them. Yeah, I'm talking about the Master International Management of uh, TH Aschaffenburg or TH, Technische Hochschule, which means Technical University of Applied Sciences. Um, I guess not everybody is familiar with Aschaffenburg and it's not uh, known all over the world. Um, where is it located? Um, although it belongs to the federal state of Bavaria, it's very close to Frankfurt. And I guess Frankfurt is very well known all over the world with its big airport and the banks and the Euro European Central Bank. It's about half an hour away by car from Frankfurt and also half an hour away by fast train. So Aschaffenburg is also connected to the fast train network. It's a rather cozy city of about 70,000 inhabitants. So together with the suburbs, about 100,000 inhabitants. Um, we have a very nice castle, as you can see here. We have nice castles in the surroundings. So it's located directly at the River Main. And we have also um, an old city district with a lot of bars and restaurants. And it's said that uh, Schaffenburg has uh, a higher density of bars and restaurants than our capital in Berlin. I never checked that, but definitely we have a lot of uh, bars and restaurants and you can do a lot of things in the evening over there. A um, few words about our university. We are quite a small university, the smallest um, public university in Bavaria. So we have only about 3,400 students, so which creates a very familiar atmosphere. Um, people know each other. It's in, Teachers, professors are easy accessible. That's uh, one uh, big, big advantage, I would say. And it's uh, very often it was shown in good rankings. Uh, for instance, there's the semi-official um, CHE ranking. And um, we have normally, we have a lot of green lights in that ranking, which means that students, especially that they value our service orientation and that we are accessible for them. Also, um, we had uh, very often the first place in MindProf.de, which was mentioned by one of my colleagues before. 
It's a campus university. We have a beautiful campus, I would say, very green, as you can see here on the slide. And um, it's a nice mixture of historical buildings from the 19th century and very modern ones, which creates a, spe a special atmosphere. And uh, yeah, students like to like to be on the campus also in the evening. So we have a volleyball field, for instance, and they like to play volleyball over there. Dormitories, some of the dormitories are also located on the campus, which makes it very yeah, convenient for students staying in those uh, dormitories. A few words about the program. It's a Master of Arts, so MA. Um, it consists of three semesters, 90 credits in total, which means 30 credits per semester. The matriculation is possible in winter and in summer. And the general orientation of that master program is more towards the soft subjects of business administration. That means management in general, marketing and human resources management. And um, our um, graduates, they work in different fields, I have to say, very, uh, very often also in consulting. But the good news is that way over, way above 90% uh, of our graduates can easily and needless find a job, a qualified job after graduating. There's no tuition fee at all. You only have to pay 60 euros, about 60 euros for an organization which is called Studentenwerk. This is um, all over Germany the case, and this organization takes care of the cafeteria, the dormitories, and other things as well. Um, you have to know some specific attributes about the program. It's fully taught in English. That means all courses, only with the exemption of language courses and other foreign languages, are taught in English, and all examinations are also held in English. Um, we have the possibility of, um, yeah, or you have the possibility of getting a double degree together with our uh, Finnish partner university in Seine. Okay, I will go in more detail about that later. And we also offer some kind of summer schools as an integral part of our curriculum. We call them global master schools. I will also go in more detail about that um, a bit later. Here you can see an overview of the subjects and the modules of our program. Um, it consists of three semesters, as I said. They are very different in their nature, I have to say. Um, the first summer semester, if you start in summer, you will have a weekly schedule. Normally, we offer the lectures from Monday to Wednesday to give students the chance to work besides if they have to earn some additional money or if they would like to gain first um, practical experience in qualified jobs. It starts with international management, an introduction to international management accompanied, accompanied uh, by a case study seminar. And then you will also have courses in international law and international economics and trade. And um, you will find very often the prefix international here um, of our courses, which means that um, we try to build upon a knowledge that you gained during your bachelor programs. And um, we, will, yeah, we will specialize that knowledge into inter being international. And um, the last compulsory course in the first semester is international, international competencies. It gives you the chance to gain international competencies, to know how to behave in an intercultural environment. The second semester or first winter semester, so to say, um, it consists of blocked courses. And the reason for that is that we have created something like that we call a mobility window. Um, you have two compulsory courses, international human resources management and advanced international marketing. And these compulsory courses will be ha held at the end of the semester. So starting mid of December, typically. That gives you the chance to go abroad if you would also gain more international experience in another European country, for instance, to go abroad um, from September to December. And um, the best thing you could do abroad is um, to do all your elective courses, because we have three elective courses in the first winter semester, the summer school, which must not necessarily be our summer school. It could be a summer school elsewhere. For instance, we have also um, we have also a cooperation with the famous Tongji University in Shanghai in China, but you could also um, choose other summer schools as long as they are held in English and as long as they offer the same amount of credits and as long as if they deal with something which is connected to management, I have to say. And um, you could also take the electives abroad and I will 
tell you a bit more about the electives um, with the next slide. Then I will come back to that slide to talk about the third semester. So here you can see what electives you could take, what we offer. So sometimes um, we offer electives which are which deal more with contemporary contemporary um, topics like dig international digital economy or a global sustainability. But you have also the chance to specialize, for instance, in human resources management by, for instance, the elective organizational behavior or to specialize a bit more in marketing um, by the elective consumer behavior or corporate communication. Um, one of the elective could also be a language course. So we give you the chance to learn also other languages. Maybe you have never had Chinese, Russian or Japanese. You could do two courses of, of those languages, basic courses, or you can deepen your existing language uh, abilities in Spanish or in French. But as I said before, um, the first winter semester is also a good option to go abroad and to, to take courses that can be accepted as electives abroad. And then you have a big, big variety depending on what, uh, on what the partner university offers. Another possibility is um, you could substitute one elective by an internship abroad. So you could go at minimum for four weeks abroad, um, having a qualified internship in a company or another organization. And then you have to, to write a report about that internship and to present that report. And then um, the credits can be recognized as an elective as well. So there's a multitude of options that you can choose from here for getting the credits for your electives. That's about the first winter semester, blocked courses solely, as I said. Third semester is very flexible. Um, so it starts with a seminar about presentation and moderation. That seminar prepares you for writing and presenting your master thesis. Core of the third semester is the master thesis itself, um, which typically has a length of about 60, 70 pages. And then you also have to give a presentation about the main results of your master thesis in a so-called research seminar. So far about our curriculum. Um, now I would like to talk more in detail about the Global Master School and also about the opportunity, um, yeah, uh, the opportunity to go abroad to get a double degree. Global master schools, we offer them as yeah, one integral part of our program, as I said before, it's one kind of electives in cooperation with the University of Missouri in the United States and St. Louis in the United States and the University of Applied Sciences in Seinijoki, this is Midwest of Finland, and yeah, our own university. And um, for instance, the next Global Master School will be held in May 2022 in Aschaffenburg. And then um, in autumn 2022, the next Global Master School will be held in the uh, United States, in St. Louis, USA, and most likely in spring 2023. So um, it's up to Seinejoki to offer another Global Master School. What is a Global Master School? So it's a condensed intensive period duration is about one week and um, the content is a mixture of lectures and project work project work typically typically done in intercultural teams so we try to mix up the teams so that all of the teams are intercultural uh, consisting of students from different cultural backgrounds um, projects are very different and they change from global master school to global master school sometimes in connection with uh, local companies sometimes in connection with local organizations and so on and uh, lecture uh, should help you so to um, fulfill the project tasks more successful. Um, the Global Master Schools are also accompanied by a multitude of social events. So very popular in St. Louis as well as in Aschaffenburg is a brewery visit, typically a brewery tour. In Aschaffenburg, we uh, typically also go to Frankfurt to visit the European, European Central Bank. In Seinejoki, very popular is the evening in the Finnish uh, nature. I can give you some more impressions of global master schools by taking a look on that slide here. You can really see that students have fun and you can see from the multitude of faces that these are really intercultural, international um, groups. Fine. So far about um, the global master schools. Now I would like to inform you about the possibility of getting a double degree in MBA. 
So you could study at our university, international management, getting an MA. And some of the students, so you have to apply for that and um, you have to be selected for that. But some of the students have the chance to make a double degree in an MBA together with the University of Applied Sciences in Seinejoki in Finland. You can see the um, campus of the um, University of Applied Sciences in Finland on the upper right side here on the photo, very beautiful campus as well. And um, yeah, the, how does it work? You have to get at minimum 40 of the 90 credits in total in Seinejoki. So that can be easily done by writing the master thesis, which counts 30 ECTS with together with the Finnish university, which does not necessarily mean that you have to stay there for the whole time. They can also supervise it um, from far away. That's no problem at all. And you should um, additionally take two other courses at University of Applied Sciences in Yoki, so that you have in total at least 40 uh, credits. Um, because it's an MBA and not an MA, they require two years of working experience after the bachelor graduation. For those students who um, directly start with a master program right after their um, graduation from the bachelor program, they have to wait another two years until they get that work experience and then they will get their uh, final yeah, diploma of an MBA. But this is a very attractive, I guess, um, offering. And students that have taken that in the past, they have been really enthusiastic about that. OK, finally, to keep it uh, quite short, because uh, yeah, time runs, I have to say, I would like to inform you about the requirements for admission. As I said before, there are no tuition fees, but there are some requirements. If you fulfill these requirements, you are definitely taken. That means there's no other selection procedure like an essay or something like that or an, or an interview. So all students that, that fulfill these requirements, they are definitely taken. And what are the requirements? You have to have a bachelor in business administration or a similar subject. Similar subjects could be a mixture of business administration with something else. Or for instance, um, it could be a bachelor in economics. Important for us is that about at least 50% of your credits from the bachelor program that they um, have been done by courses which belong to business administration, economics, mathematics, uh, law, and so on. So typical subjects you have in business administration bachelors. Um, there's a threshold um, regarding the, the minimum grade. It must be at minimum 2.5 according to the German grading system. The German grading system is very different to other grading systems. The lower the grade is, the better it is. The best is 1.0. So typically 2.5 means that it has to be at least good. Um, for applying at a German university, normally, you normally have to go through uni uh, minus assist Dot de and they will translate the grade from your bachelor diploma to term grade and inform us about the grade. Um, it's obvious that uh, because the whole program is taught in English that you have to have English ability, language abilities. So um, we require C1 level, which can be shown by TOEFL test, IELTS, or also other tests. Um, very easy um, and um, Without a certificate, you can um, get admission if your bachelor was taught in English. So for those or for those applicants where the bachelor was taught in English, they do not have to show any language certificate about English. Um, also, the whole program is taught in English. We require also German at B1 level. The reason for that is that and at our university still all administrative processes. So if you deal with the student's office, for instance, and so on, they are all uh, in, uh, done in German and all documents about that are written in German. That's why we are still require B1. If you already had some term in school and you do not have the certificate about B1 and you need some extra courses, um, you could also use the time before the program starts. You could still apply for the program and you could use that time for, yeah, for doing some language courses in term and getting the B1 level because it's enough for us if you show us the certificate about the term language abilities when the program starts. And the program starts um, in summer 
not really in summer, in spring, mid of March, and in autumn it starts at the beginning of October. So it's absolutely sufficient if you show us the German language certificate then, and you can apply even if you do not have the English certificate and the German certificate at the moment. That's no problem at all. The application period for the upcoming summer semester, let's start there. It has already started mid of November and it lasts till mid of February. So there's some time for your application. And um, if you would like to play for, for the winter semester, the application period starts 2nd of May and it lasts till 15th of August. Your application is very welcome, I have to say. And um, if you have questions, so do not hesitate to contact me. You can see my email address here on the slide. So thomas.lauer at th-ab.de. Please send me an email and I will answer your questions via email. But also if you have questions right now, I am yeah would like to answer them. So, and if you would like to have more information, you could also use that link here to get more information. Yeah, thanks for attending that presentation. Um, I'm really looking forward to welcome you on our campus and to hearing from you. Thanks a lot, Professor Dr. Lauer, for uh, quite valuable information for our prospective students, which will be of a great use, I'm sure, for them. And um, as you touched upon, two important issues like GPA, German GPA system, and also UniAssist system as yeah. well. I would like to ask Eileen, uh, our moderator, to share with our guests the GPA converters, calculators, so that they can easily understand what's going on in this regard. And also our German, my German university article on UniAssist, because sometimes students are afraid when they hear UniAssist so that they can understand that it's not that difficult. No. Thank you very much once again. And now um, I will move forward and um, let me share the screen. So I will invite our last but not least guests. So for those who were asking about bachelor levels, here you are, come closer to the, to the monitors. And here, now we'll talk about bachelor level as well. So we have two, two special guests, Professor Dr. Christina Hans and, um, oops, sorry, I went to this <laughs> map, and also Nicole Kania, who will be talking about and uh, who address issues so with BA. BA in International Business Studies from Jade University of Applied Sciences. And now we are again back to the north of Germany. So uh, the floor is yours. I'm stopping sharing the screen. And yeah, here we go. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes, yeah, so on behalf of our IBS team, we'd like to already thank you for your interest in our international business study program at Yadu University of Applied Sciences in Wilhelmshaven. My name is Nicole Kanya. I'm the program's coordinator and together with Professor Christina Hans, um, who is one of the program's directors, we'd like to show you what it is like and what for you it could be like to study at our North Sea campus in Wilhelmshaven. So we are going to introduce to you shortly our university, as well as our business department and the location. So our campus, while Professor Christina Hans is showing you the program and the benefits that go along with it. At the end, I'd like to point out some of the highlights in student life in Wilhelmshaven. What is important for you to know, of course, where are we located? So we are in the northern uh, German part at the coast, at the seaside near the Frisian Islands. And when we take a closer look, we can see them here in the picture. Um, yeah, for your orientation, some of the biggest cities like Bremen and Hamburg, you can find them nearby. So Wilhelmshaven is a small town indeed, but with a lot of benefits as we are going to show you in a bit. Before I hand it over to Professor Hans, here you see a short snippet um, of our main building at the campus in Wilhelmshaven. The campus itself is surrounded by a lot of green as the city's park um, is close by um, and directly next to it, of course, bus stations. So after classes, you will get as quickly as possible to the seaside as well. At campus or on campus, you can meet around 4,500 students coming from different departments such as engineering, management information and technology, and of course, our business faculty. In Talking Business, I hand it over to Professor Hans in order to present you our program. Thanks, Nicole, for that. 
So I'm going to start to introduce our program itself. Our program is a bachelor's uh, program, International Business Studies BA. And I first give you some general information. As I said, a Bachelor of Arts. Um, you can apply for that uh, until 15th of August because we only start in the winter term. So uh, this is for the international students to apply up to the 15th of August via Uni Assist. I think we heard a lot of them of Uni Assist before. So I can, looking at the time, just uh, go uh, continue. Uh, we've got a program about seven semesters, including one internship. I will get to that later. So it's scheduled for seven semesters. And the, um, uh, the requirements are a university entrance qualification for our university and some English language proficiency at level B2 with a common economic, uh, European framework of registration reference. So these are the uh, requirements because um, we have uh, our program is completely taught in English. We've got a small requirement of uh, having an uh, A1 level of German um, uh, German knowledge, but this is required up to the second semester. So you can come with your English qualification and learn German in our university and certificate get uh, to at the end of the second semester. We are located in Wilhelmshaven itself, so we are on campus program. And I would like to highlight the very important facts with the next slide. As I said, it's an international business program and it's very international. It's, as I said, co taught completely in English. And we've got, uh, the, yeah, we, we are taken in about 35 and a bit more students that depends on the program itself. And we've got uh, small groups of international fellow students. So when you come to our campus, you can get to learn a lot of uh, new people from all over the world. The next is that, as I said, we've got an international internship, which is compulsory. I will get to that later, what time, uh, at what place we've got it in our schedule program. You can also study abroad. You can spend some semesters at our one of our cooperation partners or in, uh, at any partner you choose. And for, at our campus, in our program, uh, the very, yeah, I would say the very um, unique point is that we've got various specializations which I just highlight right now. So I'll come to the schedule later, but very important is the fifth and sixth semester after you did your internship in the third uh, or in the fourth semester and the first three semesters is quite the, the basic program. In the fifth and sixth semester, you come to your specializations. You can choose, you don't have to. So the first one would be sustainability management. We offer, As uh, then the next one would be international economics and emerging markets. So it's focusing more to, not in on European studies as we heard before, but more emerging markets. We've got another focus on business psychology. And the fourth one is digital business management. So as I said, these focuses you can study, you don't have to. You can choose from a variety of, of, uh, of courses in the fifth and sixth semester to do your own specialization. Talking about that, I would like to come to the program, or to the schedule for the whole uh, seven semesters, starting with the first ones. I think we, we can yeah, um, differentiate them in the com competencies you will have in the basics of business management, like marketing, finance, accounting, and so on. We will have a lot of skills taught in our university in this program in mathematics, business, IT, and so on, methodical and analytical skills but also focus a lot on cultural, social, and language skills. For example, intercultural management or leadership in organizations. 
with this knowledge of this of these basic things which you need in in your business career i think we can send you to your internship which is in an international company you can choose from international companies abroad or even in germany depends on your background of course and in of your interest you should have an uh, at least 20 weeks internship mm. After this, I think, or with this knowledge of being or having worked in an international company already, you can focus even more if you would like to specialize in these areas which I, <clears throat> which I mentioned before, sustainability management and so on, emerging markets or business psychology, and of course, digital business management, which is quite something which is very important these days. But as I said, we've got a lot of other electives. You can choose from a variety. I think you will find it on our website, which is quite easy to then have a look at in, in, uh, for a longer period. I, I can just mention these ones right now. In your final semester, the seventh semester, of course, you have to write your bachelor thesis. And then besides, there are two options. Either you have another internship you could go back to the one you've been before, to the organization or company you've been before. You can choose another one. Or you can have some more electives and maybe focus a little bit more on language skills because we've only, we also have Spain, uh, lots of uh, Spanish classes and French classes. With this knowledge and with these specializations, you will find, I think, good um, career opportunities in management, general management, marketing management, strategic development, digital management, of course, project management, and so on. So I think there's a lot of perspectives, but even as we heard before, you can continue with a lot of master programs in Germany what I heard from my colleagues before. Yeah, and the next or the idea which uh, closes my presentation of the program itself before Nicole takes over and highlights a little bit more about students' life, I will highlight why should you choose our campus at Yale University. I would just highlight or go to this great network we have in education and business with a lot of corporations with international universities which is still increasing and as i heard before we uh, there was somebody else talking about finland we also have a good connection with the finnish university in kovola we've got a good cooperation with lyon in france and with uh, netherlands where it's leo Wagen as a very important business partner we have, or a university partner we have. Yeah, and, and we've got an exchange program or exchange with guest lectures from our partner universities and professorships. We also go there, of course. And sometimes we also um, join the students when they go abroad. And we've got cooperation with national and international companies which makes it easier for you to find your internship somewhere there in, in the world outside of Germany. Okay, so that's from me. Ah, yeah, what I forgot, we've got small groups as at the university itself, but also in our IBS, International Business Studies program, where, you, where we uh, practically teach and where you have projects, projects you take for yourself and get uh, supported by the teachers and the, the lecturers and the professors. Yeah, so a lot of possibilities yeah, during your program, during your stay at the university to get involved um, yeah, with your fellows, but also with your professors. Earlier I talked about the benefits in student life. So besides a great study program, of course, um, student life is an important factor 
So I will point out some of the aspects. We have, for example, a great offer in university sports, as you can see a little extract on the left hand side. Um, which is to be highlighted, of course, are water-based activities such as beach volleyball, kite surfing, um, dragon boat, but also sailing. So you could do, for example, your sailing license. And what is more to know in student life or about student life in Wilhelmshaven, our students are very active when it comes to organizing events such as the weekly student parties. But of course, there are also a lot of events that take place in town. For example, in the summer months, especially when it's warmer, there are a lot of concerts directly at the beach, as we can see here in the left picture. Our beach, you can see it in the right picture. It's called the South Beach. It is the only one and only beach in Germany that faces the south. And in the center, you can see sort of our landmark, which is the Kaiser Wilhelm Bridge, here illuminated by fireworks. You have a lot of help um, and initiatives, such as, of course, our office. Um, we will be happy to help you with any questions, but um, which is an important factor as well, are our students. So we have buddy programs and our students in general, they help each other. So yeah, sort of uh, this company and culture we live at our university. And another important factor is that you can easily find and also find an affordable room or dormitory apartment, which isn't um, as obvious as well. So this you will get at Wilhelmshaven um, either. We'd like to close with some more impressions um, of the seaside. We have the sailing cup, which takes place every year. You might know those famous beach chairs, which are displayed in the right picture um, that you might know from German coasts. And yeah, that's it for from our side. We thank you very much once again. We hope you got a good idea um, of our study program, the university and student life. And if there are any questions, we will be more than happy to help. And yeah, thank you once again. Thank you so much. Um, you address such a broad range of topics, uh, starting from uh, the content, also student life, which I think all of them are very important. So, and I also have to put an emphasis on very nice graphics that you have presented. I was really impressed with that. Thank you very much. <laughs> Uh, okay, so um, not to take more of uh, the time of, from your, our speakers, I will just, because you all addressed all the questions that are, were really popular, like study background thing, uh, the English level, I mean, language requirements, things, et cetera, et cetera. So maybe I will summarize, I will ask just one question and we will finish with that. So um, we, I caught my, my I caught, I got, uh, I saw at once one uh, question regarding the, the diploma or the high school diploma or a BA diploma, for example, if the student applies, but at the time of application, he or she does not have this diploma at hand. Uh, will your programs, I'm addressing this question to everyone, will your programs give some time before the student can provide the final version of the diploma, BA diploma or high school diploma, or uh, the deadlines are really strict? Anyone who wants can start. <laughs> Well, um, I stopped because I also answered this question in the Q&A section already. Um, at OTH Regensburg, you can apply even if you have not graduated yet. So you don't need your ultimate graduation certificate to apply. But what you should have is a list of all the modules that you completed in your bachelor degree. And ideally also um, a statement from your home university where they say what your current grade average is, because this grade average will be the one that we take into consideration for together with our um, application test of aptitude. And um, this is very important for us. So you should be as close to finishing as possible and um, you don't need the final certificate. <laughs> yeah, that's good to know. Thank you very much. Um, would like to also answer this question. Yeah, I think uh, everyone or we can also agree on that. Um, mm -hmm. As we have our application deadline 15th of August, I suppose most of the high schools will be um, headed out their certificates. So 
-hmm. in most of the cases, um, I think students will have their diploma for in order to apply. Okay. All right, thank you. Um, just quickly to say, we have got a question, who, uh, the name of the last university the person is asking, so I would just address it quickly. So it's the University of Applied Sciences. Um, yeah, so that they know. And please, Gita, I think you wanted also to add. Yes, so it applies also um, for our program. So it doesn't matter if you haven't graduated by the time, um, yeah, so for non-EU students um, by April 15, so mm -hmm. by We'll be very happy if you can hand it in um, the certificate, the final certificate by mm -hmm. or September prior the semester starts. Okay, it's good to hear that you're quite all of you quite flexible in this regard. It's good <laughs> for students. Uh, Professor Dr. Laua, would you add something to this question? Okay, so um, let me then to say thank you again really really much to everyone because it was super interesting for the attendees as well who were quite active i would say in asking questions we how many questions yeah around 35 questions that we received today which is really great and for thank you for everyone i saw that you are actively answering in the q a uh, session uh, session section you're answering the questions which is really great for all the students and uh, yeah thanks for everyone who stayed with us and even until the end it took a lot of time sorry for the delays but yeah i mean it's the programs were really interesting and i, I hope that everyone enjoyed the presentations if uh, dear attendees uh, you have any questions to us you can always text us on at uh, info at mygermanuniversity.com on our facebook page or on our instagram which is more convenient for you please eileen uh, share with our um, attendees uh, our email also in the chat and if you if you could also um, if you like the webinar and you would like to um, as to continue in this manner, it would be also really great to hear from you guys uh, from some feedback on uh, here are direct links that I think Eileen has already shared in the chat. So direct links to Facebook and Google where you can leave your comments and we will be happy to read them all. So that was all. Uh, thank you, everyone. Once again, it was a really pleasure for me, for Eileen as well, I'm sure. And um, yeah, for our attendees also, we hope to see you on our uh, other webinars as well. Thank you, take care and have a good evening or morning or day, depending on where you are now based. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Thank you very much, Giorgio, Aline and everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thanks, bye.